Hi, David here. Um, got these hot wires in the wall. I uh, noticed that this is hot. It appears this thing, you never know. It's called a widow stick for a reason. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do an outlet today hot. Don't ever work on anything hot. Got my screwdriver, got my outlet. First off, I like to put in the terminals that I'm not using. And wire strippers, I use these. Okay, so hot wire, taped off. Neutral wire, bam. So, and ground wire. I moved these out of the heater up into the wall. Don't need as much length. I'm gonna take the ground, put a loop, take the neutral. Don't need that long, that much is good. Pop it. Boom, see that? Okay, now push these down and out of the way. Now I'm gonna cut the hot. One hand only. Don't put a hand on the ground, cut the hot. Don't touch your strippers here while you're doing it. So now, um, let's do one hand, put one hand behind the back. I work on everything like it is hot, even if it isn't, bam. So if you touch this hot wire in the neutral, boom, it'll explode, you'll get shocked. Boom, it'll explode, you'll get shocked. Touch the hot to the ground, bam, you're toast. So what I learned is hot first, so then you don't have anything else to get in the way. So, bam, the screw's gonna tighten this way, so I want the hook to wrap around that way. So tighten it in. Oh, see now it's hanging out. So, tighten up that loop a little bit more, bam. Okay, and this is hot, so I don't want to get zapped. So now, all I have to worry about is those screws in that tab. So I can flip it over, as long as I'm not touching that other screw, bam. Tighten this thing. All right, now time for the ground. Okay. Still avoiding those screws. Don't want to get zapped. Flip it over, watch that ground. It can spring out and hit your hot. There we go. That's hot still. And that's how you install a plug hot, not getting shocked.